Bird watchers trying to learn how to identify flycatchers will find over 35 species of similar looking olive colored birds in their field guide. Separating the small flycatchers of the genus Empidinax from each other is hard, but separating them from peewees in the Cantopus genus isn't always easy either. In this video, I'll show you how to tell willow flycatchers apart from wood peewees. The willow flycatcher is an Empidinax or Empid that is most similar to a wood peewee. If you can tell willow flycatchers and wood peewees apart, then you can tell all empids from wood peewees. Empids are small birds. Like all flycatchers, they have a large head, wide flat bill, and upright posture. They sit motionless on a branch, except for turning their head rapidly as they look for insects flying by. Then they fly out and catch those insects in the air. Often they will return to the same branch and repeat the process. Empids have two bold wing bars and an eye ring. However, the wing bars on willow flycatchers are wider and more diffuse than most empids. The eye ring is weak. This makes them look similar to wood peewees. Important field marks to note on empids are the throat color, bill length and width, underbill color, and wing length, specifically primary extension past the secondary stack. Empids with long primary extension appear to have a shorter tail. Empids with short primary extension appear to have a longer tail. In contrast, wood peewees always appear to have very long primary extension and a long tail. Both eastern wood peewees and western wood peewees are nearly identical. They have two wing bars but do not have an eye ring. They do have a pale spot in front of the eye. The base of the underside of the bill is yellow-orange, half or more of the tip is dusky. Willow flycatchers, specifically, have short to medium primary extension. The eye ring is faint or missing. They also have a pale spot in front of the eye. The large bill is almost entirely orange underneath. The most obvious difference between these birds is that wood peewees have very long primary extension and willow flycatchers have medium to short primary extension. The voices are also different. Willow flycatchers sing a sneezy Fitzbew. Their call note is a simple wit. Western wood peewees sing a burry, rising peewee or a falling peer. Eastern wood peewees sing a clear, mournful peewee. Willow flycatchers breed in overgrown wetlands. They also breed in brushy forest edges about 5 to 15 years after a clear cut. Wood peewees often breed in larger trees in forest openings and oak woodlands. However, in migration, they can be found low to the ground. Before we do a little quiz, let's talk about when to expect these birds in spring. Wood peewees arrive in the southern United States in mid-April, but most wood peewees don't arrive in the northern U.S. until mid-May. Some willow flycatchers enter the southwestern United States in early May. Eastern populations slowly move north into the Great Lakes region and northeast U.S. by mid-May. Western populations are delayed. Many are still migrating north in late May or early June. What's this bird then? Note the overall gray color with broad pale wing bars. The eye ring, what there is of it, is thin and absent on the top of the eye. But look at those long wings. The primaries extend very far down the tail, but also extremely far past the secondary stack of feathers. This bird was photographed in Washington State in June. That makes it a western wood peewee. What else do we see? The bill is wide and flat. The lower mandible is dull orange with a dark tip. The throat is whitish. The chest and sides are olive gray. Look at those tiny feet. That is another characteristic of wood peewees. Here's another photo from Washington State in June. I want you to notice two things. First is the large bill with all orange lower mandible. Then your eyes should go to the short primary projection. The eye ring appears to be absent. Breast feathers are covering part of the wings and wing bars. There's a stick in the way too. The back is olive green, the wings and tail brownish. Other empids are more greenish or gray rather than brown. 
The throat is grayish white. The belly is a faint yellow. In all empids, this yellow belly color is best seen in shade. It is washed out to white in full sun. Take note of the unmarked undertail coverts. This next photo is from Southern California in June. The bill is mostly dark underneath with a pale orange base. The primary projection is very long. The wing bars are broad and diffuse. There is no eye ring. Note the overall gray coloration. There is a spike of yellow from the belly up the middle of the dark breast and sides. This is a telltale sign for wood peewees. On most empids, the upper breast is crossed by an olive band and the entire belly is paler. Also note the mottled olive color on the undertail coverts. Here's one more bird photographed in Washington State in July. Note the big, flat, triangular bill. It is yellow-orange underneath. This bird has a short primary projection. The gray head lacks an obvious eye ring. It has grayish-white throat and broad, diffuse wing bars. The back is slightly olive. The wings and tail are brownish. The tail is foreshortened at this viewing angle. Click here to watch my video on separating coopers and sharp shinned hawks.